Okay, so I wanted to do a quick tutorial today on how to create a logo in After Effects. So, I mean, there's all these logo creation programs, but if you have After Effects, I mean, it's just as good as any of those, okay? So, here I got a logo for my my daughter's business here, uh, you for Birth Services, which is a, a doula service program for pregnant women. Um, so, of course, you know, if you're familiar with... Uh, after Effects, you know how to bring images in. I'm not going to go through a tutorial on all that stuff, but you can bring images in and, and set up everything you want to set up here and how you want your logo to look. Okay, so um, this is how I want the logo to look, but of course I don't want the black background. So if you want an idea of what it's going to look like with a transparent background, just there's a little toggle switch here which uh, switches it into a transparency grid so you can see it in alpha. Okay, so this is what it'll actually look like but it's good to just turn that off so you can actually see what you've done around your edges and if you want to do any feathering or anything you want to do in your images uh, once you're done with that um, you can of course export so in order to export you have to go to your composition at the top menu here you're gonna to go to add to render queue actually I'm sorry but this do this a different way we're gonna to go to the composition and we're going to save a frame because we just want to save a frame. You want to add to render queue if, say, um, you have some sort of motion effects happening in uh, in the label, like, uh, say, the, the globe here was spinning or something like that, and you want to create a short video that has a transparent background. Then you'd go to add to render queue. But instead, we're going to go to save frame, because I'm simply saving this like a picture. Okay? So I'm going to save frame, close to file, and down here, we have our settings in the render queue. So let's click on the settings. <clears throat> I'm gonna change the format here to a PNG sequence. It's very important. If you do anything else, you're not gonna get a transparent background. Trust me, I did a lot of trial and error with this. Uh, for channels, you gotta make sure it's on RGB plus alpha, okay? So again, PNG sequence and RGB plus alpha. So I'll give you your all your colors, your your reds, your greens, and blues plus alpha, which means you know it will give you uh, a transparent background. Okay, so uh, we have no sound in this because we just want a still image. So we're going to click OK. We're going to go down here and we're going to name the output. I want to go to my desktop, so I'm just going to call it. Um, a new logo. Okay. Click save. Then I'm going to render. So it's done. So it should be gone to my desktop. So let's minimize this window. And here it is. New logo. Let's double click it. And you see it, uh, it has a gray background here, but once you import it into where you want it to go, it'll be transparent. So let's try this out. I got my Adobe Premiere here ready with the tutorial I've done for my daughter. There she is there. Hello, Natalia. And I'm going to I'm going to import. I'm going to import that uh, image I just completed. So let's double click here and I'm going to be on my desktop and I'm going to look for my new logo. There it is there. Let's import it. And then I'm going to drag it and drop it onto the project where I want it. Okay, so once this starts, you should see it right there. Perfect, it's right there. So now it's not the position I want. So I'm going to go to. I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to go to Edit Controls here, and then I could change the position. So I want to bring it to the. I want to bring it to the left, so I'm going to move the position this way. And of course, it's way too big. Ooh, it's too far to the left. So bring it back a little bit this way. Almost. And I'm going to want to 
scale it down a little bit too. So let's scale it down a little bit. We don't want it that big. And then there it is. And of course, once you drop it on your wherever you want to drop it on, whether you're in Premiere Pro or whatever program you're using, you can drop it on. Of course, you can just lengthen it. If you want it to be there for the whole video, you can just lengthen it and then it'll stay there for the whole video. Transparent background, and then let's see what it looks like. I'm sorry for the lag in the video. My computer is not the fastest. Let's just control that and uh, put it at a quarter of the speed. We're going to be talking about what is a doula. A doula, by definition, is. And that's it. Enjoy.